On the eve of his gallbladder surgery, Luis Simbaña tends to his shop, selling candy to neighborhood kids as he has done every night for decades. He tidies everything up to make sure he leaves everything in order. He is nervous as he prepares to close for the night and try to get some sleep. I hope everything turns out okay so that I can come back to my wife and my children. The next morning, Luis and his wife arrive early for the procedure. He puts his personal effects away and is helped into a gown. Nearby, the surgical team prepares, scrubbing their hands, donning masks, ensuring supplies are prepared and close at hand. These scenes would be routine in any hospital around the world. But what makes them unique is that they are taking place in a university parking lot in the Ecuadorian city of Cuenca. And that the surgical suite is inside the back of a five-ton truck. Surgery is one of the services that rural populations have the least access to, especially where access is expensive and hard to get. Dr. Anita Vicuña has worked with the mobile surgery unit for two decades since it was started by Ecuadorian surgeon Edgar Rodas, who believed access to surgical services was critical and sorely needed in Ecuador's rural areas. Gonzalo Matute has been the truck's driver, maintenance chief, and even patient's assistant since the beginning. We go where people need us in the most remote areas. It feels good to be able to help people and be part of this project. The mobile facility is spartan, but effective. Doctors have performed 7,000 surgeries in this mobile operating room since it started in 1994, and the results are astounding. Zero fatalities and one of the lowest infection rates in the country. Luis Simbaña is living proof. He and his family were able to find affordable access to medical care provided by a creative and driven medical team on wheels. Harris Whitbeck, Al Jazeera, Cuenca, Ecuador.